director will be notified immediately. Any personnel below level 5 clearance who inquire about, suffer symptoms from exposure to, or who have had any interactions with these subjects in the past 18 months, are to be administered Class A amnestics. Description SCP-2123 is a large particle accelerator located in Waxahachie, Texas, consisting of a 1-1M long linear accelerator, a synchrotron ring measuring 616M in circumference, and a collider ring measuring 1 km in circumference. Under most circumstances, SCP-2123 collides redacted particles at energies of approximately 300 TeV. Normal operation releases significant amounts of ionizing radiation, with levels exceeding 100 GY HR within containment enclosure. There is currently no known way to shut down SCP-2123. SCP-2123's electromagnets exhibit strengths of 100-800 T. The composition of the magnets, and exactly how such high field strengths are produced, are currently unknown. Following Incident 2123-2007, SCP-2123 will undergo an excursion event at an average rate of once every two weeks. During these events, collision energies and emitted level of radiation increase between 10 and 100 times normal levels. When collision energies exceed approximately 5.3 PeV redacted, see Addendum 2123-Alpha, Level 4 Clearance Required. The median duration of excursion events is approximately 30 seconds, with the longest observed event lasting 127 seconds. Personnel with adequate clearance may consult Addendum 2123 Alpha for further information regarding SCP 2123's Keter classification. Discovery According to information from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's regional office in Dallas, SCP-2123 was constructed between 2001 and 2003 by an organization known as PhysHex Inc. FHI. OSHA ordered FHI to suspend operations at Site-2123 on September 27, 2003, due to higher than acceptable levels of radiation being released by the device into work areas. On December 24, Three OSHA inspectors received fatal radiation doses from exposure to SCP-2123 when they visited the facility to oversee the restart of the accelerator. Although SCP-2123 was in operation, the facility was entirely deserted at the time. Following this incident, the Foundation took custody of Site-2123. Investigation of Site-2123 found all physical and digital documentation to be completely blank. Site-2123 was secured, and standard information management protocols were enacted. A containment enclosure around SCP-2123 was completed on March 2, 2004. The whereabouts, identities, and number of FHI's employees are unknown. Addendum Incident 2123-2007 Between April 8 and August 27, 2007, a series of experiments designated Study 2123-245 were performed. Data gathered from this study resulted in SCP-2123 being upgraded from Euclid to Keter on January 15, 2008. The following is a series of emails exchanged between several researchers involved. Access to the full results of study 2123-245 requires level 4 clearance. Access granted from, to, Site Director Douglas C.C., Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Experimental Proposal for SCP-2123 from, Site Director Douglas to, C.C., Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Re, Experimental Proposal for SCP-2123 Your Primary Proposal, 2123-245 A study of high-energy mesen decays within SCP-2123, has been granted temporary approval for 60 days. Please report your findings to, to Dr. Jensen within that time. Your Secondary Proposal, 
2123-245B experiments at energies exceeding 1 PeV, has been placed on hold, pending results of your primary study. Approval may be granted later. I look forward to your results. From, Dr. Dominic Jensen to, Site Director Site Director Douglas Subject, Proposal 2123-245 Attachments. 2123-245A underscore data, 2123-245B. Doc DRS tests have produced several intriguing results. Firstly, study of neutral kaons produced within SCP-2123 has shown them to consist entirely of K0, with K0 being absent. No oscillation has been observed. Second, Studies of the paths of particles have shown charged kaons, d mesons, and b mesons, to clump together with similarly charged particles. The exact force causing this is not clear. However, increasing energies by 1 TeV allows these clumps to exist for up to 10 to 10s longer. It is of my own and DRS opinion that study of the force binding these mesons may be easier to study at higher energies. Current models predict that SCP-2123's maximum output is approximately 5.0 PeV. Therefore, collision energies of at least 1-5 PeV, as we believe are necessary to study this phenomenon, are possible. Attached to this email are the complete results of study 2123-245A, as well as a revised proposal for 2123-245B, courtesy of DR. We patiently await your response. From, DR2, Site Director Douglas C.C., Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Study 2123-245B from, Site Director Douglas to, DRCC, Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Re, Study 2123-245B SCP-2123 is currently undergoing testing to ensure power increases will not have any detrimental effects on containment. Study 2123-245B is on hold, pending the results of this test. From, Site Director Douglas to, DRCC, Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Re. Study 2123-245B as testing has revealed no dangers besides increased emission of radiation, permission to operate SCP-2123 at energies of 5 PeV on a bi-weekly basis has been granted for 180 days, beginning on April 8. Permanent approval is pending. From, Dr. Thomas H. to, Dr. Dominic Jensen subject, Unusual results of mesonic oscillation tests over the past month, I have been using a non-anomalous linear particle accelerator to attempt to replicate DRS results in study 2123-245b. At this time, I have been unable to replicate meson clumping that was observed in his experiment. However, a more unusual result has been observed. Observation of k on b mesen, and demesin oscillation has shown unusual patterns in the ratio of particles to antiparticles. During initial testing, the ratios were exactly reversed of what was expected, with concentrations of K0, B0, and D0 being up to 5% greater than their corresponding particles. Repeated testing confirmed this result. On slash, two weeks after testing commenced, concentrations of K0, B0, and D0 returned to normal levels and remained so for the following two weeks. Ratio of particles to antiparticles continued to reverse at a consistent rate of once every two weeks. It should be noted that this directly correlates with the timing of the current tests being conducted with SCP-2123. I have spoken in person with DR and presented my concerns. He has referred me back to you. I request that testing on SCP-2123 be halted immediately until the full implications of this phenomenon are fully addressed. 2. DR, Site Director Douglas from, Dr. Dominic Jensen Subject, Termination of Study 2123-245 At this time, 
I am ordering an immediate stop to study 2123 to 245 due to the unacceptable risk of redacted indicated by several experiments conducted on site and at sites, and I request an emergency containment meeting be held within the next 72 hours. Further concerns will be addressed at that time. Addendum 2123 Alpha The following document is classified level 4 to 2123 clearance. All personnel receiving level 4 to 2123 clearance are to be briefed using the following document. Access granted first of all, let me congratulate you on the promotion. Now, I know you're curious about what's behind those redacted brackets. If you weren't, then you wouldn't be reading this. You've been looking through SCP-2123-S documentation, trying to find any piece of information that could provide answers. There are a few nuggets of information that were intentionally left in the database, which we have watched you synthesize together over your time on this project. Maybe it's been a month, maybe a year. But here we are. you found enough to come to your current conclusion consciously or otherwise. You're sitting down in a private room and reading this text. Now is the time for answers. Yes, your conclusion was correct. Once again, if it wasn't, you wouldn't be reading this. So, let's remove all doubt from this. SCP-2123 excursion events cause CP inversion on a massive, possibly infinite scale. Our universe is converted from matter to antimatter, and vice versa, on a bi-weekly basis. Of course, we're still here. The Earth continues around the Sun as the Sun circles our galaxy. Our multitude of objects stays in containment. Indeed, the change is subtle. But we know that the implications of this are, at best, rather unfortunate. Since our universe popped into existence, matter and antimatter were never perfect opposites. Matter was a small bit more stable, and a small bit more of it was produced, due to the phenomenon that you know as CP violation. It is because of this imperfect balance why anything exists in our universe at all. It is because of this asymmetry why we can notice the inversions caused by excursion events. It is this effect that now undermines the stability of every single object in creation. We estimate that at least .yg of material have been annihilated thus far by excursion events. This, on its own, constitutes a YK-class restructuring scenario every two weeks. By receiving 4 to 2,123 clearance, you are being reassigned to research ways to stop excursion events. All data related to current testing is now available for you to read. Please keep all proposals focused on containment. Trying to use this thing to study our universe has done nothing but put everything at a great risk. Site 2123 Director Douglas Addendum, Incident 2123-2008-3 Access Granted Following Incident 2123-2007, Dr. James Leary the head researcher on study 2123-245, was reassigned as consultant on SCP-2123. On March 8, 2008, SCP-2123 underwent a predicted excursion event at 1343 CST, which lasted 103 seconds. Dr. Leary was assisting researchers testing new containment strategies at the time. Personnel observed Dr. Leary collapse and begin to vomit profusely upon the end of the excursion event. Dr. Leary was transferred to Site 2123's infirmary and found to be displaying symptoms consistent with an extremely high dose of ionizing radiation. Despite treatment, he expired 12 hours later. Two minutes following his death, Dr. Leary's body began to emit high levels of gamma radiation resulting in minor damage to the medical ward, and three medical personnel receiving non-fatal doses. High levels of radiation continued to be emitted, before subsiding over the course of the next hour. No trace of Dr. Leary's body was found. Over the next three days, 
multiple personnel reported problems with the files regarding Incident 2123-2007. Examination found that all entries written by Dr. Leary, as well as all mentions of his name, had been blanked. Further investigation found this anomaly to also be affecting Dr. Leary's personnel file, and all other entries authored by him.